Thanks for checking out today's video. Today I'm gonna to be unlocking horsepower and torque from this stock 5.3 uh, Silverado. It's an LM7 engine, 2001. Uh, no modifications done right now. It is currently stock as it came from the factory. And the first thing I did is uh, I got HP tuners hooked up. I've got it data logging air fuel ratio. And uh, before the mods really start pouring in on this thing, I wanted to get the tuning situation started. Uh, and I've done that now and what I thought it'd be cool is to see what we can unlock from a factory Silverado No modifications only tuning. So I'm gonna go out and do a, um, a pull. You know, I'm gonna see I'm gonna measure some uh, Some data with HP tuners. We can do uh, delivered engine torque um, We can look at the factory AFR ratios and how conservative the timing is basically by adjusting the timing uh, playing with the wide open throttle fuel enrichments. We're gonna squeeze squeeze out some power and uh, We're gonna be able to measure that with the HP tuners ability to measure um, Estimated delivered torque. It's not a 100% accurate way, but at least it's a tool to measure before and after So let's get in here I've already got the settings down to factory Excuse the mess. I am data logging AFR I've got everything brought up. If I click record data log, I will be data logging AFR. And um, the factory AFR is stupid rich. Stupid, stupid rich. <clears throat> um, and when I say rich, um, we well, you know what? Let's just make a pull and you'll see for yourselves. And the timing is also crazy conservative. And there's different reasons for this. Um, of course, you're not going to sell a vehicle that's like tuned to kick ass because you have kind of have to accept if you're trying to squeeze out power and performance you're gonna reduce the you know reliability you might hurt fuel economy um of course you know why, why it, it wouldn't make sense on a gm standpoint to have super aggressive timing have somebody won't run shitty fuel um, but you know, if you're an enthusiast, you can take it to the edge. You know what you're risking. You know what you're getting into. You're, you might be okay with having to run 93 octane or higher octane fuels to get that most aggressive timing and most power out of your car. And you might not care about fuel mileage. Um, although your part throttle and cruising stuff should always remain the same. Bronze storage, uh, 147, you know, depending on what fuel you have, but your wide open throttle stuff, um, actually <laughs> you save fuel in wide open throttle mode because it's so stupid rich from the factory um i mean not that you're really worried about fuel consumption when you're freaking you know wide open throttle so yeah right now i'm heading out to my uh, favorite spot to make a, a pull i guess on the factory settings and we're going to take a look at the factory delivered torque like i said the hp tuners uh displays it's not accurate like i said but it is a tool to kind of measure before and after, even if it isn't an accurate number, at least it's something to go off of. Um, I also have a draggy app I can use. I'll use that later on. It measures um, quarter mile times, acceleration, stuff like that. But what we're gonna look at is the conservative timing. Very conservative, very rich factory fuel settings. And um, yeah, see what kind of difference we can make on a factory 5.3 with just messing with timing and fuel. Let's see how much power is left on the table from the factory with no modifications. I think this will be pretty interesting to see. All right, guys, I'm about to make my first uh, factory setting pull to see where we're at. Here we go. All right. All right, I, I, I put over here to take a look at these readings here. What we're looking at is the AFR that it's putting up from the factory, okay? So from the get-go, it's very lean. It doesn't switch over to power enrichment, which is where it adds fuel, you know, for uh, for power. You know, that's why it's called power enrichment. That's just what it's called with HP tuners. 12.3, um, 12.4, it even goes as, as rich as 11, 8, 9. There's another 11, 8, 8, 12, 0, 11, 9, 8. 12.1 and let me remind you that the best settings for like optimal afr and a naturally aspirated engine what you really want to see is like anywhere in the range from like 12.8 to 13.2 every car is a little bit different but i like to shoot for like 12.9 to 13.0 and this is almost a full point richer than where it's supposed to be we're seeing like 11.8 12.0 when really it should be 12.8 
13.0. So it is extremely rich. And like I said, GM does that for reliability. It's safer to be a little bit on the richer side than on the leader side. Um, so basically there's a lot, a lot of power to be, to be had just by leaning out the AFR and wide open throttle. Okay, what I'm gonna do, you see it has delivered engine torque. This is what I'm gonna base the differences off of. And as I increase the RPM, it changes. I think I'm gonna go 500 RPM, 500 RPM increments and make a little chart so to do it before and after, have it written down to go before and after. Uh, let me write these numbers down so that I have something to go off of to see if we're heading in the right direction. When, what I went ahead and did is I wrote down the factory torque readings on uh, HP tuners. This is RPM. This is 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, and so forth. Um, this is the factory torque output at these the RPM readings. Uh, 198, 257, 279, 281, 281, 279. Uh, sorry for the bad handwriting. Basically, it made peak pork at 2,500. Did I say peak pork? Man, I think I'm hungry. <laughs> I think it made peak torque at uh, 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs. And uh, as the fuel got really, really rich, it dropped off very, very fast. So what we're gonna do is set optimal AFR and see if we can not increase these numbers and also extend this torque a little bit further out in the RPM range. And this is, it's pretty interesting the way this is set up. So it's basically taking the calculations off of the, the storage 14.7 fuel mixture. It's taking what it takes to make it storage and adding a percentage of fuel. So it's basically taking the fueling for storage, you basically times it by 18%. So you're adding 18% fuel on top of what it takes to be storage. It's kind of confusing, but you've got your, essentially, your primary VE table. This is basically uh, what it takes to be storage, right? And then the power enrichment, it's adding that percentage on top of the base map to reach the power enrichment which is what your afr is going to be commanded at wide open throttle it's pretty confusing but basically this video is more of how much can we, how much power can we unlock from a factory truck i'm not going to get too in depth in tuning but i really i'm really excited i'm not a professional tuner by any means and i should probably say that if you are doing this you can really risk blowing up your engine just by entering a wrong number so definitely be careful if you are tuning i am not a professional i am uh practicing and i hope to become very very good one day and for starters i would rather blow up my truck than somebody else's <laughs> but i'm getting more and more comfortable as time goes on i'm seeing results i'm learning how to do it and i'm excited to start making videos on how to tune all right here we go i went ahead and disabled some of the emission codes let's make a pull So with that one, it sounded like a rear end was about to blow up because it did have more tire spin, obviously, because uh, it should be making more power. And uh, it was fighting to like, it's a G80. They call them grenade, uh, grenade 80s for a reason. I could hear the tires kind of kicking back and forth, both of them fighting to what well, was like locking into posi, right? But it, it, didn't, it didn't sound very happy. And it didn't do that before. I guess it didn't have the power to spin it that hard for it to like try to lock up, I guess. Um, Okay, anyways, I'm going to pull over to a safe place, uh, take a look at our readings, and uh, see if we made an improvement. Okay, so by leaning it out, um, like I said, I'm not going to go super far in depth as far as the tuning process. I'm just kind of showing what it does when you just have the optimal AFR and not that crazy super rich stuff in the factory. Uh, anyways, so I'm going from like a 12.0 basically to a 13.0 on the AFR. Uh, as you can see here, I'm commanding 13.0 and I'm adjusting my fuel trims to hit that 13.0 AFR. And I have hit a peak torque of 316 foot pounds. I'm gonna have to go back and look at what my torque was at about this RPM range. But 316 is definitely an, an improvement because I didn't, I don't think I broke 300. Um, anyways, I haven't even messed with timing yet. All I'm doing is getting the AFR back in line of where, you know, optimal performance, I guess, is not necessarily, you know, what gm intended from the factory i'm trying to squeeze more power out of this bone stock truck so if we're in the right direction uh i'm gonna go ahead it's, it's kind of a back and forth of getting the afr optimal and the timing you play with timing it kind of changes the afr so i'm gonna do a couple pulls um and try and squeeze even more so right now we're at 316 let's see if we can't get any more out of this thing with another little tweak at delivered engine torque we're up to 320 again not messing with timing just uh correcting the afr 
All right, so uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video. So basically by just uh, leaning out that fuel mixture from like the 12-0 to getting close to the range of like 13-0, we're able to go from 281 foot-pounds uh, peak torque to 320. So that's about 39 foot-pounds of torque increase over the factory fuel map. Um, that's a pretty significant increase for having no modifications. Um, and once I start doing things to this truck, uh, starting with the truck Norris cam, that's like a new cam that hit the market. I'm gonna install that and um, see the before and after on that, uh, as well as Holly High Ram, uh, VS Racing Turbo. Um, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna <laughs> get kind of crazy with this truck, but I'm really excited. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe if you wanna follow the build. See you in the next video, later.